Hi everyone, welcome back to another Flickr Facts video. And this video is all about our new Flickr widget that you can add to your mobile device home screen. But as always, I have a guest with me and back again is Letitia. Hi Letitia, how are you? Hi Alastair, I'm great. How are you? Uh, thank you for having me again. It's always a pleasure to have you back here uh, giving us some information. So we're going to be talking about the new Flickr widget, but first of all, what are widgets and what can we do with them? Uh, so widgets are just uh, a way to quickly access information from your favorite apps. Uh, in the case of the Flickr app, uh, you will be able to see photos from Explore, from today's Explore or that day Explore, um, directly from your home screen. So you don't have to even click on it to see the photos. Uh, you will be able to just um, see some nice photos from Explore on your on your phone. Yeah, I've been loving seeing all the images on my device and including clicking through to see more of the Explore images. But what uh, what devices can use it and what software versions do we have to be using? Uh, so you can use the Flickr widget on an iPhone or Android phone. Uh, you have to have uh, iOS 14 if you are using iPhone. And you have to have the latest version of the Flickr app, uh, which is currently uh, 4.16. Uh, so anything above 4.16 or including 4.16 will, will work. Excellent. Right. Why don't we head over to my iPhone and have a little look at adding the widget? Yeah, let's do that. Right. Here we are over on my home screen on my iPhone. And Letitia, why don't you talk us through adding this new widget? Yeah. So the first thing you have to do is just click long press on your screen. Yep. All my apps are wiggling. Yeah, so now when you see your apps shaking, just click on the uh, plus symbol at the top of the screen. Okay. Okay, and now you can search for Flickr. Search for Flickr here. Yep, there we go. So. Okay, so now you have three options. You can choose uh, small, medium, or large size. So you can uh, pick the one that you like. Okay, I'm going to pick the, the large one so we see it nice and clear today. Okay, so now when you click on Add Widget, uh, you will see that appear on your home screen. Um, and now you can click Done at the top. Click Done. Or, here. yeah, to save your changes. And, yeah, now if you tap on the widget, uh, you will be able to see the photo on um, the Flickr app. This will just open the Flickr app. Okay, and, cool. yeah, so now you can see more details on this photo, or you can just browse through the photos on Explore for today. Um, yeah. Here we can see all the explore photos from today, so I could pick any of those and have a look at them. Uh, but it's a great way to discover new images via the widget. Yeah. Wonderful. Right. That's iPhone. Why don't we have a look at the same experience, but on an Android device? Okay, let's do that. Okay, here we are on the Android device. Yeah. So the first thing you want to do is just press your screen and select the widgets option. And now you can scroll down until you find the Flickr widget. Um, there you go, yep. that's the Flickr widget. So just uh, touch and hold so you can move it to your home screen yep. like that. And now you have the option to resize it to make it uh, bigger or smaller. You can make it make the it size nice you and, want. Yeah, make it nice and big today. There we yep. go. Uh, so you can also click on the widget and this will open the Flickr app, same, um, and you can move um, and see other photos from Explore. Um, you can navigate through the app like that. Go back to the widget, sorry, yep. Yeah, uh, yeah, let's do it again. Maybe click again. Yeah, so you can, again, see this photo. You can um, go to the app. And if you ever want to remove the widget, you can just like drag Slide it up. up. Yep. Mm -hmm, like that, and that will remove it from your screen. It's all very, very straightforward, but a lot of fun to have those widgets on the screens. Yeah. Yeah, Letitia, thank you so much uh, for giving us that quick guide through the Flickr widget on iOS and Android. Hopefully, everybody watching goes and adds that new widget feature and has uh, a great time exploring the images on the Explore page. But Letitia, thank you as always for joining me today. And I'll see you back here on another video. Thank you, Alistair.